What if I told you there was a way for songs to get automatically added to your Serato DJ Pro library as soon as you finish downloading them? Well, using this feature that isn't talked about too much, that's completely possible. So let's take a look. So if you're anything like me, the normal process when adding music to Serato DJ Pro once you download it is actually opening Serato, then opening a finder window or whatever, and then taking the songs out of your downloads and dragging them into your Serato DJ Pro library. Either that way, or if you use iTunes, dragging it into iTunes, and then iTunes would have it and you have iTunes open in your Serato DJ Pro and it's there as well. But what if I told you there's a way to completely skip that step of having to drag the music in and it's already built into Serato DJ Pro and it actually has been for a long time. And that feature is called auto import. So for that, we're actually gonna go ahead and close Serato and we're just gonna have the finder window open. So let's just wait for this to close. We're actually gonna need two finder windows. So on my downloads open, I'm gonna go into my music folder where my Serato folder is located. And right here at the top, we have this folder called auto import. Now what this actually does is it goes and whatever music that you have thrown into that folder, it automatically adds it to your, to your Serato DJ Pro library and then moves it over to this imported folder automatically without you having to do more than that. But instead of having to drag it into that folder, what if I told you you can actually take it a step even further and make it even more seamless? So in this case, and I have to thank my man Miles Medina for putting me onto this whole idea and this whole concept and this feature because I never knew about it. What you're gonna do is for Mac, you're gonna go ahead and right click and then you're gonna create an alias and then drop that alias into auto import. Now, an alias is like a shortcut on Windows. It's just a you know an, another way to get to either a folder that you have somewhere else on your computer. Now what this does is this tells auto import to go ahead and look in that downloads folder. And what's cool about this is that just like in Serato DJ Pro, if you drag a folder into the, the crate section, it'll make a crate out of whatever that folder is called. So now we can open Serato DJ Pro again. And once it opens, you'll notice in the crate section, right here towards the bottom, actually here at the top, we have a downloads crate because we created that downloads alias in the Serato DJ Pro auto import folder. So now anytime I download a file from the internet, from a record pool or any other place you get your music, once it hits that download fo folder, it automatically gets added into Serato DJ Pro without having to do anything else. Now, of course, I wouldn't particularly suggest you keep all your music in your downloads folder as that can get really messy. So I would suggest coming up with the structure of where you put your music once you download it. I know the majority of DJs out there actually do that. And as you can see, I have folders in my auto import that are basically that that same ideas that I have all my edits that I grab from like Bandcamp or SoundCloud downloads or wherever I get like really cool edits from. I have the edits that I've made myself and then all the other tracks that I get from record pools are all automatically imported because I've created aliases from where I have them on my computer and put that alias into the auto import folder. So it automatically goes to my Serato. Now, of course, once it gets there, just like if you drag the file into Serato, you're still gonna have to analyze it. You're still gonna have to add your cue points and stuff, but this really cuts down on the step of having to drag that music from folder to folder and then dragging that into your Serato DJ Pro. It totally streamlines that process and can help you save so much time. Using auto import has considerably sped up the process of adding tracks to my Serato DJ Pro library. And if you use Serato DJ Pro, I highly suggest you at least give it a try if not fully implement it. Now for the question of the day, what's your process when finding new tracks and adding them to your library? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting this video pushed out to as many DJs as possible. 
Also, I've started a Discord community, which you can find the link down in the description below as well, where you can find exclusive content only found there. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, be sure to click right here and be sure to click right here if you haven't subscribed to this channel. See you guys in the next one.